Hello there, I'm Outro Hill, and welcome back to some U4 playing as Spain in 1616. And we are fighting this long slot war where I made a couple bad mistakes because I'm stupid and I deserve to fail. And we're just kind of sieging down our enemies one by one. Come on now, just peace out now, Says I own you! Let me eat you! Ah! I hate you! Taking a really long time. I suppose we could peace out Burgundy. Uh, and get like war reps or something. There we go. I'll peace them out. Oh god. Why did I get a revolt? Not sure what that was. Alright, there we go. That helps. Good. Oh, Bohemia looks like it's fighting something else. Okay, we just pushed out Bohemia. Bohemia's not in the... Oh, no, it is. But it's not an elector, weirdly enough. Because they are Protestants. All right, peace out with them. Not having St. George's Cross. It doesn't have it? Really? That's weird. Okay, there we go. That makes it a lot more likely that we're going to win. Now we just need to push Sweden out. Oh yeah, now we're fighting like nobody. <laughs> yeah, we're very much fighting literally no one now. Oh, it does have it. Oh, of course. Yeah, that makes sense. Makes sense. Well, I have Great Britain, so I can't remember where the flag is now. I guess we should work on removing this. Can we get rid of Switzerland? Not quite. We can start to siege them down, I suppose. That's their cap after all. Hello. Okay, there's the truce ended with Britain. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Everyone is. Here we go. Okay, let's go down south so we can get this done. Russian mission's flawed. Ah, oh, why didn't I lose the prestige? Why did I do that to myself? Okay. Burrito has become self-sustaining. I do love a good burrito. Good stuff. We can get a Diplotech, I believe. Oh, yeah. Nope, we're too far ahead of time. Never mind. I mean, the world is just going to shit, isn't it? My goodness, it really is. Come on, buddy. Time to die. This Bazaria, I'll say Salzburg Liege is already my vassal. Good. So really, it's just Salzburg and Bavaria. Where is Salzburg? Now that I could get behind. I know that will give me a ton of coalition, though. I think this can work. Let's see if this happens. What exactly did you do to France? I just, I just ate their face, man. I did awful things to, to them. I really did. Oh, oh this fort's stacked. Oh my god, go away. I just devoured them from within multiple times. It was really tragic. Come on, finish that up so I can vassalize you, Salzburg. And then I can become the the emperor. You know, eventually. Okay. Good. No. Yeah, I, I, that's actually true. I may exploded them, to be specific. Come on. Finish Salzburg. There it is. Okay, super peace. Vassal of Spain. And if I did this, how many people join the coalition? An extremely large number. But probably Muscovy wouldn't, so that'd be fine. So Salzburg. Vassal of Spain. Boom. So people are a little upset with me, to be fair. That's fair. Just need to put Sweden out of this war and they can go away. That's the issue. Come on, buddy. Leave me alone. Neo-Sufism and traditionalist reaction. Many among the Elim are increasing unhappy with the Sultan. Among pious... Oh, I don't care. Ha-ah, <laughs> I don't care. That's fine, then. Great, great, great. No, I don't want Trier, I want to vassalize you. 
I wish to vassalize you. I don't actually want to kill you. So we must be wiped off the map. Or daring to even think about attacking me. Is the war score being affected much by my occupations? A little bit, yes, it is. Yeah, run away. Let's get good this. Hello, Boris the Great. How are we doing, my friend? What's up? All right, there's the Swiss. The Swiss dead. One there. One. Yeah, who else am I fighting? <laughs> you know what? Not really anybody. Let's go kill this Swiss dude up here, then. Sweden equals Eeks, Denmark. Oh, the Danes are not happy if you say that, my friend. There are indeed rebels in Portugal, but they can sit there for a little while. That's fine. Oh, France is under trouble. Doing great. I'm doing all right, man. That's some good news today, which is great. I'm just having an okay day. Did a lot of work today as well, which I'm quite proud of. But we're all doing pretty good. Tomorrow, Valentine's Day. It's looking good. All right. Kill him. Good. Can I win now? We can! Become a vassal of Spain. Boom. Oh, yes. That is right. Okay, Alsace, you are my friend. As are you, Salzburg. Improve relations. Now, we're going to have a slight sticky wicket. In that we may have some rebels. We may have some rebels. May. May have rebels. <laughs> You're Danish. It's, it's like a maze. It's barely even worth thinking about. Um, and by rebels, I mean a coalition that destroys the entire world. But, you know, whatevs. Potato, potato, right? <laughs> this is going to be very interesting. We are very rich as well. I have no loans, so that's good. We make so much money from trade. We make a lot of money from trade. I really need to move my things over here, but I don't control enough of this trade node yet to make it worthwhile. I need to actually try and take Savoy or something. Growth of of Draperies are for efforts to maximize trading profits in the province be born fruit in, province, in the province of Corneto Venetian. Entrepreneurs have managed to greatly increase the output of draperies and found new markets. Hooray! Tell you what, let's actually find gold and start investing in it. Boop, boop, here we go. Let's just start spending some of our points on some of the things that make us money. Got the points, right? Okay. We do have rebels that will be arriving soon. Uh, Spanish particularists in 0.7 years. Oh dear. That will be 42,000 men. That will be problematic. Oh look, I already have, have 25,000. I've had 25,000 men here the whole time. Oh my god. I've had 25,000 men here the entire time. Insane. Okay. It's just this province now. And then, and only then will we be able to do the glorious glories. Oh yeah. Okay, hang on a second. So for Spanish Armada, yes, yeah, so we, so we just need to finish the mission and we win, so that's cool. Help out, lads. Colony expansion, let them expand freely. I don't care. I don't give a crap. Olivares. Oh! Duke of Olivares of the Spanish government between 1621 and 1643 under King Philip IV, whom he was enjoying is the favor. He was devious and cunning leader. He involved Spain in the Thirty Years' War, along with the Imperials, and the War of Holland renewed. Through disastrous and precipitated Spanish decline with the succession of both Catalonia, reunited in 1652, and Portugal in 1640. Under his governance, poetry, literature, Caladoron, and painting, El Greco Velasquez de Morel, prospered, and Spanish modes and customs spread across Europe. Fifteen government reform points, a hundred points in each. Wow. And get a new statesman. How fun. That is fun. A royal marriage offer from Ga- Oh, shit. I meant to say yes to that. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. My B. My B. Reritan has become colonialist. 
Oh yes, it has. Manhattan. Plus forty rare whiskey. It's a yeah, it's a nice event, isn't it? It's pretty pretty spicy. We are about to get Spanish particularists, unfortunately. Right. Everyone to go to Coimbra, please. Stand here and wait for a bit. And now we just sit and wait. The thing is that the UK has not joined because they're at peace. So I'm hoping that this will be finished soon. And that we can do the event and then declare war on them before they can join the coalition. But I am doubtful. Okay, June. Just one more year. Oh, it's this boa. Hello. Now, you know, we've got so much fire damage now. Oh, wow, 9-4. I'm glad we did that. Oh, we slaughtered them completely in that initial fire phase. Ridic. Great. I mean, it's down to half. Looking good. We make a ton of money. Trade is just monstrous. Uh, we make so much money. We just don't even need to worry. Noble Family's Feud. Okay. Octano. Where's that? Over there. Oh my god. What? Is that even... That doesn't even belong to me. Why do I own this? No. God damn it. Now I gotta send people to go fight that. Ugh. Go get it. Uh, we are about four or so years away from getting Max uh, manpower back. Guillermo de Boya and his family. Family? Family. The merchant family of Naples has come to greatly expand our long trade range with Mali. By essentially establishing results both Nina and Malian hinterlands, they have come to be very influential in both societies and very rich. This session we can make use of. Uh, sure. I don't really care. Alright. San Manhattan. Yeah, that's the thing. I love it. That's the stuff right there. We should recruit less infantry and just use mercenaries. We made England mink split today, turned into six different republics and two freezes. Good god, how'd you do that? That's monstrous. You disgust me. <laughs> Proud of you. Austria's embraced global trade. Good for you. What's my. Uh, what institution am I lacking? It's global trade, for some reason, I don't have it. How I don't have it, I have no idea. I am literally one of the most rich person in the in like the world. Like, come on, excellent vice race. Global tariffs. Oh, that's a nice big chunk. Ah, oh, it's not very much money. Oh well. Holy crap, we're rich again. Popular religion. There's always been some discrepancy between the religion actually taught and defended by the clergy and the actual faith people in the provinces. Most of the differences are small enough the clergy choose to ignore them as they focus on the reinforcing the more orthodox spiritual ideas. It seems, however, that certain ideas are quite are quite unorthodox if rooted in old traditions have begun to spread together with the Catholic faith among our non-Catholic subjects. The resulting mix of old heathen ideas, popular superstitions, and the actual Catholic faith itself. So attempt to root out this syncretism and get tolerance to place plus one, or better let it run its course. Missionary strength. Yes. 100% yes. Is there any way I can make them better? Yes, missionary strength plus two, because I need to rush this. Okay, we also probably need to start... Um, we need to start, like, preparing. First of all, let's get some buildings. Okay, let's get some... Uh, Trade marketplaces. Yeah, don't really need that. Here, mm, not really useful for me. Okay, how about actual production efficiencies? Oh, that's like no money. <laughs> Jesus. Taxation. Madrid. Fine. Uh, manufacturing. Local goods produced. Sure. Sure. Armory for local manpower modifier. Yeah, there we go. That'll help. And some of this. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Who is mowing their lawn at this time of day? Good God, that's annoying. Why? Why is this happening? Why? Okay. We are in surprisingly a good place. I really hope that's not coming through. France with the military coalition. Oh, yeah. The Grand Captain died. I make enough. I can do morale of armies. Okay. 
Alright, it's working. It's working, guys. 1720. Okay. Let's get ready. How many heavy ships does England have? They have 15. Let's goddamn do this, guys. Are they ever going to repair? What's going on here? The hell? Oh, there we go. It's repairing. Oh, don't even know when they got attacked. Here we go. We got 15 heavies. We need to make sure we have enough heavies to handle them. I don't understand who's mowing their lawn at 5 p.m. What the hell's going on? <laughs> Gotta make sure we're ready. Basically, as soon as this kicks off, we need to be ready. Okay. Let's go. Get those troops ready. I am ready for this, my friends. I'm about to get a new personal union. Oh god, I forgot to improve relations. Whoops. Oh no, I am. Good. I didn't do it with Alsace. There we go. The Salzburg is pretty close. And then for Alsace, it's not too bad. Just Saxony. Come on, vote for me. You just need to love me. What you need. So that when the emperor dies, I become the emperor. Yes. Alright, boys. That's 27 heavies. We'll leave our galleys here. 21 heavies. Make an admiral. Gaspar of Alice de Toledo. Beautiful. I'm ready for this. 21 heavies, they ain't got nothing. We'll just we'll land on their shores, we'll mess them up. How many troops do they actually have? They have 26,000. They have about 69,000 men. And do they have any overseas territories? They do not. So their entire armed force is going to be there. Ah! A good chunk of their forces are here. Now that's interesting. Now that is interesting. Okay. How long until it's ready, boys? Uh, 17th of August, okay. We need to smash their, ter their home territory first, so I think that's gonna be the priority. The priority is to destroy their homelands as quickly as possible. If it means we have to lose a little bit of land at home, fine. Okay. Let's go. Blue migration? Don't care. There's still a war. That's my jam. These guys are repaired. Let's go. Treasure fleet's arrived. Get ready, boys. We're going to be rushing. Well, we'll stay with those, and then we'll, these guys will come in the rear with the other general. Here it comes, lads. Gaunti completed. Yes, yeah, Spanish Netherlands. Our claim is that the must be enforced whether by diplomacy or by the sword. In addition, we must combat any heresy that emerges in the Low Counties. Gain a permanent claim on Netherlands, Friesland. Oh, nice. Get a, it gets a claim in the Netherlands area. Weird. Oh. 
Okay. Next up. We can go Austrian succession. The Habsburgs of Austria have liber liberally married their offspring into just about every noble house in Europe. Well, let's put them in good graces of the main nations. Their policy is double-edged sword. Strategic marriages have united the thrones of main nations. The fruit of the unions can inherit claims upon itself. And again, for 20 years, dip rep and improve relations. Boom. And then the Spanish Armada. Must ready to combat the rise of heresy in Europe and do so need a fleet to rival out of England. Our great misfortunate navy must be willing to stand all, any and all foes. And you get a restoration of union cases belly. Boom. They broke off on personal union. Yes, they did. How old is my ruler? He's 32. God. Do this as soon as possible. So what do I have claims on now? Oh my god, look how much higher claims I have on. Jesus. Go, 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 go. They couldn't join it. Oh, baby. Restoration of Union, my friends. Let's go. What? Oh, come on, Brandenburg. They're in debt. Jerk. They're not out of anyone. I can take them on my own, I think. Let's go. Here it is. That's it. In the next episode, we're going to be fighting those guys and taking the Union for ourselves. I was Algernon. I continue to be in this video for. Bye-bye.